if you're like me, you find these kinds of papers to be a little bit more difficult to use. If they've got a big image and they got a whole bunch of open space. Well, today we're going to go ahead and use this one. And the reason we're using it is because I've got a lot of photos that actually kind of cover all of this junk right here. Um, I will definitely say that I like this paper. Look at the back. Isn't that cool? Like, I'm glad I have this paper now. Although sometimes I shy away from buying these. Photorealistic. But because there's such great open places, that leaves room for a lot of pictures. So I've got some pictures here. This is considered my childhood stories. That's where I got this from. And we are doing the 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. We're on day 18, and this is what our sketch looks like. So when I was slipping through all of my photos, I was looking for something with a horizontal orientation. That is not common in my photos. So I really did have to dig, and I digged into my old school photos. Now, when I think of this event, which is my team winning a tournament, I specifically think of this photo right here. And this photo is the photo that I think about every time I think of my grandma as well. So I did not put these photos in a mat. Instead, I chose to only put this photo on my mat, on a mat. And I did that so it stood out from the rest of whatever is going on here. So that is my photo orientation and that is how I am. Actually, I'm going to probably move this over just a smidge. This is my photo orientation and how I'm using this big old space right here. So you still see my softball there. You still see my words. Now we just have to embellish. Now embellishing is pretty simple. I figure, okay, I've got a softball there. I'm going to add a softball right down here. Pretty easy peasy, right? And then... I have this really neat little thing that says team photo and I thought that was perfect for this. So I'm going to add that. Uh, it might go under, It might. I think it needs to stay on top. And so this might just rotate a little bit, kind of like that. And I've got my journaling. So I need to shift everything to the left. Because i got to get my journaling on here. Not cover up my photo at all. And then I've got a little piece of ephemera that said ticket to the best day ever. And I have a little bit of a nod, softball grandma. I might just end up putting this here or put this right here. I'm not sure exactly where that's going to land, but it's going to land on my page for sure. Because really this story is about the photo that I think of every time I see my grandma. So then to bring the blue down, I've got this batter up. And then I know I can find the date somewhere on these photos. Um, I, I specifically have this still, like, I don't know, 20 years later, not 20. Well, maybe 20 years later, I still have that. So I can go dig it out and I'm just gonna put my date right here. So I want to bring the red down. That's the point. So I got yellow, yellow, red, red, black, black, blue, blue. Cool. So I need a third place for a cluster. Now notice the clusters on here are like all over the place. I've changed the rotation on my photos. Like my layout's not going to end up looking like this sketch, but that's okay. The idea was there to grab a horizontal photo. So then, well, I thought this was perfect. It says all star. Look at that hat. And my <laughs> journaling talks about how my grandpa always used to tell me to pull my bill up on my hat. Because clearly you can't see. Which is fine. And last two pieces that I'm going to add to this is a, saw a girl playing softball and she's digging for the ball. And then I'm going to move this ball to make it look like she's catching it. So I've got a softball in every cluster. 
got yellow, got red, and got blue. Now the red in this right here is just that little smidgen of red, but it's red and I'm counting it and I don't care. <laughs> so that is how my page is going to land. So don't forget to check out everybody else who is playing with the 30 Days of Sketches from Christie's Beautiful Life. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.